Hello guys, um, in this video I will explain how you can make uh, any Epic game run through Steam and make the make Steam uh, make the using an auto hotkey script and make the auto hotkey skip script run as long as the game runs so that uh, Steam thinks the game is running and uh, also the script will close Epic Games Launcher. Now you might ask why not just add um, a non-Steam shortcut the usual well, usual way? Well there are games for example like uh, Pinball FX uh, let me show you So, Epic Games, Pinal FX, and if I launch that game, we won't have uh, the connection with uh, Epic Games services. So, you will see the game will say I'm not connected to the internet and I won't be able to use online scores and such or buy in the game store. And um, that's a problem. And you can see it here. And usually it only works if you run to the Epic Games Launcher. But I know at least one way now how to do it. So let's dive into the tutorial. First you will run a browser and get auto hotkey. So search auto hotkey. And take this site here with the main domain. Download it. Uh, download the current version. Wait for it to be completed. I think it is completed. Um, then run it and let it install. With me it's already installed so I don't have to do it but you will have an option here to install. So once that's done uh, go to Steam. So let me check if it's running. It's not running. So run Steam, and for example, I will use as example my Switch controller. Uh, by default, the game does not support it, but if you run uh, the game through Steam and you use Steam's uh, options to support the game, uh, to the gamepad, it will work. So you can do that for PlayStation controllers. You can do that for. Uh, uh, switch controllers or generic controllers. So first you, you need to go to settings and then go to uh, controller and click uh, generic settings and then here for example if you use a switch enable switch mm -hmm. configuration help and uh, mm -hmm. this one doesn't need to be enabled and you will notice normally here inside the screen you can you can also already use your switch controller. So enable switch configuration help and also uh, if you enable this this setting, this setting basically says to um, yeah to, to use two Joy-Con controllers and to make one out of it. But I'm a, I have a switch controller, a switch pro controller, so it doesn't matter. So once that's done. Uh, just takes it out and uh, that, that's set up and then you can normally uh, configure your uh, games with the controller so now I'm going to tell you how you can um, add the Epic game for example Pinball FX in this case to uh, Steam using auto hold key and generic in an exe. I tried doing it with a URL, I tried doing it with batch files, but Steam does not accept them for some reason. So the workaround I do is using auto hold key. So once auto hold key is installed, you can right click, choose new auto hold key script. Name it the same name as your game. Pinball FX in this case. Now we need a shortcut from uh, that Epic Games creates so for the game. So first install your game, then launch the launcher from Epic Games and go to the uh, library. So let me wait for it to load. And 
and go to your game. So library, go to your game, in this case Pinball FX, click manage. And choose here to create a desktop sh shortcut. So now, when I exit, there should be a desktop shortcut. And yes, here it is. And if you check the properties, it contains some URL. So, copy that URL. We will need it later. Now, right click the pinball VixAAK file that has been created and you can choose edit script. It will start Notepad. So, the first thing we will do is run wait, comma, uh, taskkill, Print exe slash f force is does that mean em? You have to do that to be able to write the process name. Epic games. Now let me check what the name is. So paste this already with control V. Uh, let me check. Epic games is Epic Games Launcher. So you can you could copy that from the shortcut. And then run the the URL you pasted, and you can basically delete everything until you see the last per percent three A's uh, thing. So this was written three A percent, and you can remove that. Make sure to put it in around double quotes. Then, this is to make sure that the game will start. Then, uh, process, wait. Let me see how it's written, wait. Um, and then you need the exe of the game, the real exe. This, I, in this case, it's situated here and you can just press F2 on the exe copy paste it make sure you see the punt exe file you can see that by going to view uh, find name extensions so by default Windows shows it like this but it's always better to see the find name extensions and then you can select exe press F2 control C and you have the you have the file name so I have created it already here but I will still show it. So this tells this, this tells the script it has to wait until the process has launched. And then we do it again. Process, wait, close, same exe, and then we repeat. Then we repeat the kill command. So basically what this does is, it will first kill uh, Epic Games if, it's, if it was running. The reason we have to do that is if Epic Games is already running and we run this, Steam uh, overlay will not be active and you will not be able to use your uh, to use your controllers. Then the game is launched using this link, which we copied from the shortcut. Then we tell it to, to wait for the process appear from uh, the game. And then we wait for it to close, and then we kill the Epic Games launcher. Now, let me first verify that I did not make a mistake, as I had already created the script before. Yes, it's basically the same. Wait and wait close. Yes. So, once that's done, save it. And go back to your uh, desktop location or where you save the script, right click, choose compile. And that will generate this pinball at wix.exe. Uh, you can name it whatever you like, it doesn't matter. Then go to Steam, <coughs> add game, non-Steam shortcut. Click uh, browse, and go to the location where the script is, the exe file. So with me it was here, pinball at wix. Select it and choose open. And then uh, click OK to add the program. And if you if you search, if you search now, pinball FX, you should see it listed. 
but it loses the, the wrong icon. So right click it, properties, click the icon, and go to the location where the game is installed. Uh, with you it can be C, uh, program files, Epic Games, but with me it's in, um, in a different drive that I have it installed. With me it's E Games, Epic Games, Pinball FX, and here you can select the icon, and it will use that icon. So this is set up. Basically now, if I run the game, it will use the, it will launch the game through uh, Steam, and you should see immediately that uh, um, the overlay will be active. I uh, will tell you something more. You will always get this uh, upload to cloud stuff, but you can disable the the cloud sync for the game, and then you won't have that issue, and there won't be you won't notice the game launching. So for now, I upload my file because it's newer, and then the game will start. So I'm not touching anything. So now the game is starting, and here is my switch controller. You see in the upper right corner there the FPS overlay and the, in the lower right corner the overlay from Steam being active. I can press my button and I can play the game basically with the, with the Nintendo Switch controller. And you can do this for generic controllers, for PlayStation controllers, for everything. See, I can switch, I can select the table. My Ball. Little Pony Pinball! No, let me take some other table. Star Wars has music. I'm not sure which one it has a specific music. But yeah, you can see I can control it every, everywhere. Uh, let me disable the option for the... Play a table. Cool Whoa. Megara, our home world. Continue. I can continue the game, and I'm still using my Switch controller. And I can press the flipper buttons. As you can see, I can press the launch button. I can nudge. So that works. Now, if you quit the game, so let me go to exit table. Yes and exit the game. You should see that Steam will stop eventually playing the game and the Epic Games Launcher is also closed. That's because we kill it. Um, so yeah. Um, just to prove to you guys that when I close Steam and that I run the same script, the same exe outside Steam, so without the Steam overlay, my uh, it will it will also run the game, but it uh, yeah my 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 Nintendo Switch controller won't work then. So basically, I will show you that also you can disable that by disabling cloud saves. But uh, let me first show you that my switch controller won't work uh, if it doesn't run inside Steam. And this is just a trick to make Steam think the game is always running. And so it doesn't think the game has ended. Uh, so it's just a way to launch Epic Games games through Steam using auto hot key and creating a non-Steam shortcut for it. So my Steam was closed. I'm pressing buttons. And it doesn't react. I can press as many as I like, it doesn't react. But if I do it, if I close the game, it does it does work. If I close the game and I do it through Steam, it does work. Um, I will quickly show you guys how to disable the cloud saves.
So yeah, let me wait for it to for Epic Games to launch. And you go to the library again, Pinball FX, Manage, and here you can disable cloud saves by just disabling that. Um, I can also show you it wor works for PlayStation games, like PlayStation controllers. I'm not sure if the game supports it, so let me switch from controllers and attach it to my. Uh, PC. So basically, I have a very old PlayStation 1 controller. So, let me hit. So, this is the controller. It's a very old PlayStation 1 controller. I have not tested it, but in theory, it should test it work also with the with the game. Uh, so, to set that up is the same thing. You go to Steam first and you don't have to change anything anymore about the script. The script is just basically for being able to run um, the Epic game. You go to settings, again to controller, controller settings, you disable, well you enable, uh, well I had switch enabled but I will disable it now. Mm -hmm. So I disable my switch configuration help. And you can see here below, it still detects the switch control, but that's because I haven't restarted Steam. And you enable uh, PlayStation configuration help. And if you have a generic controller, so not a PlayStation or Nintendo Switch controller, you just enable generic controller support and set up your uh, buttons for so they uh, look the same as an Xbox controller. So that's all you have to do. If I, well, it's possible I have to set it up. Let me see. So I have to select the controller. Layout. So I'm not certain if I will be able to, to define it. So that's that. That's back. Yeah. Let me see if I can put it. No. Nah. It doesn't let me redefine the controllers because it's already uh, making use of the input. But basically you can redefine your generic controller or anything here. And I think... No. Yeah, but anyway. That's how you set it up. You will have to figure out how you can redefine the keys, but basically it's something uh, related to here. Um, so let me close now this setup. And if I run Pinball FX, in theory, it should work now also with this ancient controller. And this controller is, I, I've just hooked it up using an USB converter for PlayStation 1 controllers. But I don't know if the default uh, if the default mappings will be any good. So as you can see, Epic Games also detects the Steam overlay. That's basically what makes it work. Then uh, in theory, it should detect the Steam overlay here also. Yep, I see my FPS already, and there is the message. So I can normally press any button to continue. Yeah, I'm not sure if my controls will be mapped correctly. But if it isn't, you can also always configure it inside the game. Uh, sorry, inside Steam. I'll show you that also. So basically I can here control that little thing. I can switch RB. I can select a table using this very ancient controller. I can start the game, Gagara, our start a new game, and my flipper buttons will work. Um, what I'm not sure is, is I, if I will be able to launch a, a ball, I think I will, with the X button only. So around. if I, I press X, the ball is launched, and here are my flipper buttons, using these two Mothership in position. very old things. Stay on so basically this allows you to use any... Uh, 
any game, any controller with uh, using Steam for Epic Games or even other games. Uh, the only thing you needed to know is the, the launch script using auto key to be able to um, yeah to launch Epic Games. Especially if they require Epic services or some other services where you cannot launch the exit directly. So let me quit the game. Uh, I will show you also in Steam. If you right click, ah, there's still an old one. Let me check, but they link to the same directory, I think. Yeah. But, uh, so here you can choose manage controller layout. Uh, did it close? Oh, it seems it closed. Normally you can choose controller layout. I have to, I have to show it you with, um, yeah, it immediately closes. I'm not sure as to why. Probably because it still detects the switch controller. Hang on. Let me quit uh, Steam. And relaunch it. And let's try again. Yeah, no, it isn't working. But anyway, normally that's the way to do it. Maybe it's because I have some old thing. Maybe I can show it for some other game. No. No, it always closes. I, but anyway, with the switch controller or maybe a generic controller, maybe not all of them, you can set it up there. And to also to prove you again, if I uh, quit Steam, and I launch the launcher like that, outside of Steam, the game won't accept input from my from this from this joypad. Yeah, I should disable the cloud saves, but it's only for this video. So the game will launch. Normally you don't see I will s this Epic Games appearing if you don't get a message about Cloud Saves upload. Um, so if you disable Cloud Saves, you won't see Epic Games at all, unless Epic Games needs to be updated or so. So basically, in this case also, the game has started. Oh, it accepted it. That's weird. But it works for generic controllers also like that. But like, ah, it accepted it, but here I cannot press any buttons. It doesn't react to anything. It only accepted to the first thing on the first screen. So here basically the, the controller was also not working, All, only through Steam. And as you can see, there was no... Well, this FPS is from my NVIDIA in the lower right. But as you can see in the upper right, there is no FPS from uh, the overlay from Steam. So let me quit this now. And it will also kill Epic Games again, as you can see. And uh, yeah, that's basically how you do it. And uh, for the generic controllers, you just enable generic controller support in the same controller settings in Steam and you put uh, you create such script as I explained earlier uh, you compile it to an exe, you choose the exe as a non-Steam shortcut and add that, non add that exe as a non-Steam shortcut to Steam and launch it using that and that's basically it and that's how you make Pinball FX and probably other games work from inside Steam and use the controller support from Steam in that game for Epic or GOG Go games or whatever. So that was it guys, I hope you liked it and see you next time.